Okay, I think it's good. Uh, okay, um, this video I want to talk about my experience as a developer in Finland. Actually, I want to answer this question that uh, how's it like to be a you know mid-level developer in Finland? So yeah, this video is about this and uh, let me give you a, an update about my situation with this channel actually well i'm at this point i'm working on my course it's an amazing course i will talk about it later in other videos soon but for now let's talk about this topic okay so I have a notebook, some titles here, just to make sure that I don't miss anything important. So first of all, the daily job, and uh, let's talk about the flexibility and this sort of stuff. Well, uh, you can have the normal, you know, time hours. You can go, you can go to the work, you know, starting from. 8 a.m. to 4 or 5 a.m. to you know sorry uh, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. so basically you need to fill seven and a half hours and uh, you have you can have uh, you know half hour lunch together eight hours but when you write on marked on your uh, estimations your uh, work hours you need to have seven and a half seven hours and a half that's the first thing it's, I think it's normal around the world but the you you have to like flexibility to choose your time you can work at night you can work whenever you want it doesn't matter you can one day you can work you know four hours next day work 10 hours uh, at the end of the month what really important what is really important is that um, you just need to have the average time uh, uh, working you know on your projects uh, so I think it's pretty similar all around the world so it doesn't matter at all about the pressure well the good thing about Finland is that people are really uh, calm they uh, they don't they, they don't want to compete that much they don't they, they want to have they want to work earn some money and then spend it well have and try to have fun with that money they don't expect to get a lot of money so on the other hand the expectation from employers is not that high so everything is in a balance work life uh, and a normal life everything together or in a balance so you don't need to be worried about your job and about your deadlines usually customers and clients uh, have the same feeling feeling they don't care about you know deadline that much well from company to company it can be different of course it's different I mean for instance if you work in a startup uh, company, well, things are more, you know, critical. You need to be uh, agile. You need to be faster. You need to work harder. Well, on the other hand, they give you more money. Uh, that's for sure. But in average, for the most of the companies and uh, for mature companies, especially well you don't have to work that much the pressure is is low 
nobody tells you no keep doing that over and over just they tell you once a week you know do something and then uh, they just give it to you go do it and again then come back give us a report um, and that, that's a good thing about working in Finland especially as developer you don't have that much pressure on you uh, okay, I'm sitting in my balcony here let me give you a view of this uh, what else do we have here so well it, it, it comes with a price you know being under um, no pressure or low pressure is that well the average income is not um, let me fix this I think something's I think it's better I'm checking myself inside a mirror or the glass uh, well yeah well the price is that actually you have when you when the pressure is low well obviously the average income is uh, lower than the average income in countries like USA or Canada uh, and I think this is true for all the European countries Germany Netherlands Denmark uh, I think more or less pretty much all of them are similar in the matter of you know money most of them are lower than the average we have in Finland because the uh, well the uh, minimum salaries higher in general is higher in Finland uh, in comparison to most of the European countries um, so as they you know the rent and uh, food and other stuff but what I'm trying to tell you is that if you want to earn um, a huge amount of money, so probably it's not the best place for you. But if you want to have a normal life, normal income, and want to enjoy your life, you want to spend it well and just have fun, well, it's a great place. But it's not like, you know, Silicon Valley that everybody's trying to compete and earn more money and you know you quit from this company and go to another company to earn more money it's not like this since uh to be honest uh, there is there isn't that much competition here and but well the, uh, let me give you a, a rough idea about the income maybe it's better to talk about numbers so i can say that the uh, the, the the average is around uh, well, let's say 400, 4,000 euros per month, I believe, uh, as a mid-level developer if you want to work here. It's before tax. After tax, you know, you need to uh, pay paid around 30% for tax. So. Uh, it's not that huge amount of money, but it's good enough. Maybe in, you know, if you accumulate your money, if you invest your money, or you know, just save your money. Don't do anything with that. Uh, paying your rent uh, and for f food, and you can save a little bit. And after maybe two or three years, you can have a decent amount of money to, you know, get a loan for buying a house and. Buying a, buying a car so with loan you can do that but without getting a loan after two years uh, well yeah there's no chance to get a house with working you know as developer here uh, I think at tops uh, you can get rounds maybe as a senior developer in a you know good company startup company or famous company maybe you can get around seven uh, thousand euros yeah something like that um, but it depends you know 
it can be more or less than this but you know the funny point is that it doesn't really matter if you earn 5000 euros or 7000 euros well after reducing 30% tax the difference is not that much the difference is not really great and it doesn't have really a big effect on your life uh, at the end maybe you can you know have it have an extra trip per year with that extra money so that's all you can't have you know uh, a bigger house or you can have you know a more luxury car with that amount of difference between the mid-level or senior developer but this uh, uh, this range is completely different in in countries like USC the, the minimum and the maximum could be hugely different and uh, that's a you know, good thing about countries like America that uh, well there, there is no basically there is no guideline for for salaries and you can have you can ask as much as you want it depends on the company and depends on your skills and uh, depends on uh, you know the leverage you have but let me see here okay so let's see so no luxury life that much uh, in average I'm talking all I'm talking about this average so it's pretty much like this we I have friends working in uh, no, Nokia company in top right well the origin uh, original Nokia is here in top right based in top right so well I think he gets the I think he gets the maximum salary but well it's not that much again well you can have a good life you can have it but you, you don't you can't have a luxury car driving around with that uh, so let's see what we have I'm not used to this kind of video so trying to uh, and I don't want to know uh, I want to make it really comfortable with you when I want to talk so uh, I have just some headlines and I'm trying to make up my mind uh, at the same time when I talk to you <clears throat> so but uh, about the job job opportunities uh should say that well there is enough job here well if you are are a good developer or programmer if you have enough experience if you have enough skills you can you can find a good job really fast and actually i found i, I can i don't say that i'm a really good developer i'm I'm sort of you know mid to senior developer it depends on the company you know the t these titles you know when you start working in a new company you there's a chance that th there is a low chance that you get the same title as before and if you're working at a company right now with senior title there's a chance that you change your company and you start working from a mid-level developer but because companies usually have their own uh, grading system and they want to you know you earn that so the, they don't give it to you right away unless you go there as a senior developer so I used to be senior developer and now I'm mid-level uh, maybe in six months I get the senior title but it doesn't matter it's not really big deal I'm already a team lead and tech lead so um just these are just some titles uh what i wanted to tell you is that well um uh, i managed to find this job my current job one year ago in one month which was really difficult because people it was july and people were in holidays so during that time it's really difficult to find a job 
but I sent around 100 applications more than that to you know 70 person was for Finland and the rest was the rest of European countries because I was desperately looking for job that time um, but I got 20 interviews more than 20 I think uh, in one week I had every day I had two interviews per day or more for one week it was a strange time um, but yeah my point is that if you have the experience you can find easily and there are a lot of opportunities for all sorts of languages it doesn't matter well here at this company I usually PHP and JavaScript but well we can find all sorts of languages companies with all sorts of languages in the stack so the language is not really important you need to know the basics you need to know grasp the the, the core idea, the concept of software engineering, software development and programming and this sort of stuff that the language is at the second level um, how much I spent? let me check this well, 16 minutes, not bad I'll, I'll get back to you with uh, about the average, I was telling you that the average was around 4,000 euros and it could go up to like 7,000 euros. Well, it may, uh, I've seen people who have, you know, 10,000 euros um, as the monthly salary. So, well, it's possible to have more but but i'm talking about the average and the uh, common thing and the minimum could start you know as a trainee or as a junior it could start from maybe three thousand years uh, is it good enough uh, well in total i mean with the pressure we have no pressure at all and with the Um, everything in total I can say that it's good to be a little poor in countries like Finland you can enjoy both you know people work hard to spend their money in somewhere beautiful and good point here is that we are already in, in a place beautiful and also calm with a lot of you know, activities a lot of hobbies to have so I think that's enough for this video. Uh, try to please ask me if you have any questions. I try to answer those questions. And I want to talk about my course I'm working on in some other videos. And until then, I have a lot of plan for this channel. I want to uh, uh, create some new videos. But until then, I just want to talk about different things related to you know technical things about uh, being a developer and these sort of things. It's not exactly technical videos, but they're all related. I think it's good that, that we share this sort of experience with each other. Uh, it's not always about, you know, coding and coding and coding. It's also about some basic things we need to understand before we step into uh, my programming area and world okay thank you guys for watching this and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you like this sort of videos you know it's not a script that I just start talking and I have some ideas I know what I'm gonna talk about but there is no script that I can read from that so yeah, it's like a conversation and a lot of thinking going on but uh, yeah thank you have fun